Boston, Massachusetts, July 2013. Scientists at Boston University published the results of an extraordinary experiment. Results that call into question literally everything we know. A few years ago, we had a series of experiments where we were able to create a false memory in the rodent brain. We put our rodents in a safe environment where they were free to roam around, and we developed a set of genetic tricks where the brain cells that held on to the memory of that safe environment now became responsive to pulses of light. So the next day, what we did was we put the animals in a completely different environment, and we gave them a couple of mild foot shocks in that environment in an attempt to startle them. But the key thing is that we could shoot light into the brain and reactivate the cells that held on to that safe memory. So one of the ways that we've known that we've switched to memories is that the animal no longer behaviorally looks like it's scared. And then that at least opened up the floodgates to this idea that we can artificially manipulate memories in general. We might be able to one day perform some kind of surgery or some kind of intervention in the brain to enhance memories that we don't want to be lost as a result of Alzheimer's. Or suppress memories, let's say that we don't want to be there in cases of PTSD. Or suppress emotions, for instance, in certain cases of anxiety. Memories are stored, just like you can put memories on a card in a video camera or your cell phone. And it's possible that you could manipulate the chemical, the organic wiring, so to speak, just like you could manipulate a memory card in an electronic device. You can take one file out and put another file in. In the future, we'll be able to record memories, play them back and alter these memories. And I wouldn't be surprised that in the future, you'll be able to go to a library and have that vacation that you never had. But once we learn how to add and remove files from our brains, if we do not have some kind of safeguard system, some kind of firewall to prevent other people from doing it without us letting them, then trusting our memories might be a problem. Implanting new thoughts into people's minds? Artificial memories? The implications are as profound as they are frightening. For example, how do you know if you actually watched this show? Perhaps someone simply created a memory and put it inside your head. Preposterous? How would you be able to tell the difference? Let's face it, just when we think we've figured out everything there is to learn about the human mind, we realize how little we really understand how much more we need to know before there is nothing left that is unexplained.